Tests are being distributed. More people are now being tested. However, there's a clear protocol to follow if you think you should be tested. Here to explain from Kind Healthcare Group is Dr. Georgie Nanos. Uh, welcome. Thank you so much for coming in again Thanks, tonight. Thanks, Ginger. All right, so we're seeing this, and you, you called it last week when we were first talking to you. More tests are going to come out. More positive results are going to uh, result from that. But what does that mean for somebody who goes into an office, I mean, what's the protocol that they should follow? So the protocol is something we've been talking about a lot lately. If you feel like you are sick and you have questions, do not show up to your medical office unannounced or to the ER. You need to call or email ahead of time. We don't want to overwhelm um, doctor's offices and ERs with potentially sick or exposed patients without having some warning and putting precautions in place. What about sending your, your spouse or somebody in? I mean, they're in close contact with you, so they could be a carrier, correct? Exactly. Yes. So what, what can happen and what has been happening is people will show up and have these concerning symptoms and may end up testing positive and you're inadvertently exposing everybody in that office, wiping out you know, a lot of the staff in a quarantine, and then they can't serve other people. Um, so you're creating a lot of havoc without you know, planning ahead for that. So Elaborate a little bit more on that. What does happen to an office if they have somebody that is COVID-19 infected? So they have, they have to go through everybody that was seen in that office that day, the proximity they were, you know, how close they were to that person, what staff members came in contact with that person, everyone that used the room after that person. Um, and it's, the ramifications are, are huge. And then those doctors and staff members are out for at least a couple of weeks. Wow, that is big. And that's another reason that telemedicine, what they announced today, they're going to start expanding that. How right. is that going to um, help to alleviate the demands on these doctor's offices and hopefully any situation where a COVID-19 person is infecting others? So what we've been saying all along is that, you know, if you can manage any symptoms at home, we ask that you do that. And obviously, if you have other concerns to contact your healthcare providers, but it's it's hard to even reach them by phone or email. A lot of practices um, are setting up telemedicine uh, platforms. We've already had that in place for a while, and now we're expanding it to the larger community. Um, you know, for new patients as well. But what that's going to allow us to do is also take care. You know, one of the the the, the fallout of this of all of this chaos is that people who have routine and semi-urgent medical needs can't get them addressed right now. And so something that is, you know, may not be critical, if it's not addressed in a certain period of time, then becomes critical. And then we have uh, other problems, just unintended consequences from all this. So telemedicine will allow those needs to be filled more promptly um, through a, a virtual exchange with your doctor or healthcare provider. And then it also will help screen out, you know, what your concerns are regarding COVID-19 in a more efficient manner. How are you and your staff doing? I mean, you guys have been working round the clock for weeks. We have. Um, we are, our, our practice is a little different. So we're, a, or have been up until now a concierge practice. So we have a smaller amount of patients that we see. Um, so for us, we've been able to take good care of them. But what we want to do now is expand our, our offering to the, the greater community and serve more people at a much lower price point so that everyone can get the help they need. And with all the self-quarantining and, you know, the social distancing, do you, are you convinced, medically speaking, that that is going to help to curb the spread? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So we're doing the right thing. We are doing the right thing. Everybody has to get on board. I encourage young people who are, you know, think that they're invincible to get on board. The sooner everyone can comply with these requests, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. And they will one day. <laughs> you heard it from the doctor. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. And, you know, rest, be strong, be, be well. <laughs>